channel and welcome to another video you join me here on a very sunny but cold day in the UK it is freezing cold I've tried recording this video three times now and my hands are going numb so this is gonna be it now today's video is an update on the RS and some of the work I've had done to it over the past couple of weeks but before I get into exactly what I've had done if you are a returning viewer if you've watched a video of mine before and you'd like to please do subscribe because it will help the channel out a lot i'm currently in talks with a few different manufacturers and although they can identify that my views are decent the thing we seem to be getting stuck on is my subscriber count so it would help i'm not going to begin reviewing cars but i would like to diversify the content i make by featuring other cars It'll all make sense. But now that's out of the way, let's talk about the RS. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was made aware that the discs needed replacing, and my initial thought was to take it back to Audi and have them replace the discs with OEM parts, like for like. But when I found out how much that was going to cost, and when I found out that, well, I didn't find out, but, I then remembered that they'd also need to replace the pads and they would put the OEM pads back on the car. That got me thinking about potential upgrades or alternatives. And we had found a manufacturer called Vagbrem Technic. And when I first heard the name of this company, I thought, that is a, that's not a great name. Let's just call a spade a spade. And I was a little apprehensive, but I can report so that was just pure ignorance on my part because the discs and the whole brake setup is great. Now, I've had the brakes on the car for just over a week, but this morning was the first opportunity for me to get out and really go for a drive, and they're just great. Once they get up to temperature, they really, really are great brakes. They give me so much confidence approaching corners. Um, I just, I don't really know what to say. I'm not too clued up on the technical elements of the brakes themselves but what i can tell you is they are a two-piece floating disc setup and some of the components are made by ap racing so that in itself is pretty cool also i went for ferodo ds 2500 2500 pads and a couple of you had suggested these to me in the comments of some of my previous videos and again they're just doing a great job um there's been a couple of corners where i've tested the the kind of brakes corners that i know well and you can definitely not only brake a little bit later but you can also the the turn in on the car is just so much i don't know more direct and i don't know if that's almost like a placebo maybe i'm just driving differently because i'm now confident the car's gonna stop i don't know um, because not to knock the OEM parts at all, but toward the end of their life, the discs or, or the brakes in general, there was a lot of travel in the pedal. And there were a couple of instances where I thought, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to stop in time. Uh, one instance with a BMW Z4 that just as an FYI, absolutely destroyed me. Yeah. I'm as surprised as you are, but the guy driving it was a much better driver than me. And I can't remember whether or not I mentioned this in my previous video, but he absolutely spanked me. And we both approached a humpback bridge, and I think both of us had misjudged how much time we had to slow down for the bridge. So he slowed down really quick, I slowed down, and for about 10 seconds I thought I was going to plow straight into the back of him. So that's what got the whole right do they need replacing probably let's do it um now i'm probably going to make myself sound you know like a bit of a bit of a tit here like i like i've just said i'm not too clued up on the technical aspects of these brakes but one thing that did stand out to me when i collected the car was just how good they look they look 
incredible and I'll do a walk around in a moment. They just look so good. I've, I've stuck new tyres on the car as well. I've finally gone for Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. And again, I'll do a walk around because it's funny how different tyres can just change how your car looks just slightly, just slightly. But overall, I'm really impressed with these tyres. Um, I've spent most of the week just scrubbing them in. And again, this morning, went out for a drive. These tyres are fantastic. They're so much better in the wet and I just feel like I'm much quicker in and out of corners. Not that I'm driving like a rally driver everywhere I go. And that was part of the reason why I went down this route with the brakes because we did look into a complete big brake upgrade from AP Racing. But then I thought, I didn't want something that was gonna be underused for a kind of A to B commute. But then I also didn't want anything that would limit my options in terms of taking the car on the track. And I think this setup from Fagbrem Technic is a really, really good middle ground because now I have the option to continue to do my commute and just use the brakes as is, but then I can also take it on tracks as well. So it's like the best of both worlds for me. And yeah, I'll probably do a separate driving video where I can really give you a sense of what the car's like to drive with this setup. But let's just take a quick walk around and I'll show you what they look like. Okay guys, so as usual, the car is filthy. I do not bother cleaning it Monday to Friday. There is just no point, especially with the weather, how it is at the moment. You couldn't tell today that we're gonna be due a storm tomorrow morning, but the car's dirty, but let's just get right to it. Um, firstly, the tires. So these are two, three, five, sorry, two, three. I always get told off for that. Two, three, five, 35, 19 Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Um, as you can see on the rear wheel, so the rear alloys on my car are a little skinnier than the front alloys. And this tire setup is probably the best for, for this wheel. I think if I went for a two, four, five, it would probably be a bit too squared off. You can see the angles kind of just right on the rear wheel. And then on the front wheel, you can see that, let's just ignore this, ignore that. Um, you can see that actually, despite being a narrower tire, because just for context, these cars have the 255 3019 Pilot Sport 4S tires on as standard. So even though this tire is narrower, you can see actually it's not even, you know what I mean? It's like just barely stretched on the rim. So they're a perfect, perfect fit. Again, I think the 245 might have been maybe slightly more squared off, but I think it would be marginal. And the actual width, the um, tread width isn't any skinnier. So overall, very, very impressed. And also I actually, prefer the design of these tires as well but let's just talk about the brakes you know you're a car guy when you look at a set of discs and you think yeah they're sexy because they do look great they're a little bit dirty at the moment but and some of you in the comments will know more about this setup than i will but you've got the two-piece setup here the disc i went for grooved discs over grooved and drilled just personal preference. I think they look a bit better grooved. Um, also the drilled discs were a bit more money. Um, but one thing you, you do have to be mindful of with the grooved discs is just how hot they get. I accidentally touched the disc the other day and I thought I'd put my hand in an oven. It was so painful. But they just look great. They really, really do look great. And I couldn't be happier with them at the moment, to be honest. And I think it just, it's like I said, it's just tires, you know, they really can just change how a car looks because I do think that the car looks a little, I don't know, it's got a slightly different squat to it. But talking of squat, the next thing on the list that I'm considering is do I lower the car slightly? 
I don't know. I feel as though the rear used to be very noticeable with the Pirellis, but now the actual gap doesn't look so chunky with those um, tires on, with the Michelins on, so I'm not sure, but I feel like the car is just a little bit high at the back. Let me know what you think. Okay guys, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over there, up that hill there, and try and get some photos of the car whilst it's parked here. And then I think I'm gonna wrap today's video up. I will do a separate driving video, but hopefully you agree that the, the new discs look great on the car. Um, if any of you are considering moving to the Pilot Sport 4S, I genuinely cannot vouch for them enough, even a weekend, this like day and night. Some of you told me I should have listened sooner. I'm waffling. Guys, I hope you have a great week and until my next video, peace.